<laughs> they say once you start doing videos as if you're about to die, something happens to you. About a week ago, my son told me if anything was ever to happen to you, I think I'll do videos for you for another two years. And I said to myself, wow. For me to have lived all this time, to have faced the struggles, mis mistreated, what was the word? What's, what's, what's the word I want to use? What is the word I want to use to sum up the whole situation? Disrespected, molested, mistreated, fucked over, murdered, and resurrected. Those are the words I want to use to describe the real AIX. Out of all the trials and tribulations, out of all the good and bad, and all the tears and all the drum, and all the death, murder, lying, conniving, out of everything that I've seen and experienced in my 40 years on this world. One thing I regret that I never got to see, even though I tried my entire life to bring this into fruition was complete unity. I was at the point where I never had to worry about nothing. I was at the point to where I had a shitload of money. I was at the point where I was down and out and didn't have a hope in the world. And I was at the point where I said, fuck it. And all these experiences accumulate and bring us into now. Am I brilliant? No. Am I extremely educated? No. Am I the master of my own domain? No. Do I have any power or controlling interest in anything? No. Am I powerful in any way, shape, or form? Yes. I am the almighty and the all-powerful me. My power only rivals one other individual on the entire world. One is you. Someone once told me I was the father that they haven't had. And this is somebody I met on YouTube. And I'd like to tell him. You're the son I lost a million times. You're the daughter I've had, but it slipped through my hand. You are my son. And I might not be able to give you an ounce of blood. I might not be able to give you anything. But I can understand exactly what you mean when you said what you said to me. Because of many times growing up and not having a father myself until I got a certain age. And then being with my father and watching him tell stories to other people like, this is my big brother here. He keeps me from being stupid. My father was a bad man. <laughs> but I learned one thing. It ain't about this hairline you see going. I ain't finna change. 
I learned one thing. True family, those you let in your heart. And if I tell you out there on this YouTube that I love you, it's because it's true. I'm just another young person that didn't have a family brought up. And I lived amongst a family, which was my own. And in all reality, the separation between self and family was inflicted upon all of us. When we saw Mama arguing with Daddy, it wasn't because they didn't love each other. It was because Daddy couldn't get what was the requirement to survive. And Mama was the backbone and put him in his place. But Mama failed to realize you cannot do that at certain times. So then in our lifetime, Mama became totally independent from Daddy. And Daddy was just there because he was there. You might not be able to take care of the family where you're living at, but when you're daddy, and you're the so-called Papa with a rolling stone, wherever he laid his hat was his home. And of course, and when he died, all he left us was a loan. But it wasn't a loan from a bank. It was a loan and by yourself. Papa had to leave because Papa still wanted to be a man. And Mama, every time she could, shut him down. She didn't shut him down to belittle him. She shut him down to build him up. But what she failed to realize is he was being shut down everywhere he went before he came home. He was being shut down every time he tried. And the division of Mama and Papa was complete. All he does is this, all she does is that. The division was taught to the kids. Mm. Oh, I gotta pee something fierce. Mm. There's certain ways we gotta talk on these videos. Mm. But the pressure is bad on me. Daddy gotta pee. But if you're a real man and you need to get your point across, you can hold it till you gotta do what you gotta do. Or you can just be like these actors on stage and piss on your goddamn self. I'd rather shake in a chair like I'm being electrified trying to tell you the truth than to get up and walk away without finishing the truth. Mm. So, they put a string between mom and daddy, a rift. And then kids take sides. And then divorce rates go up. Then you have young men growing to hate their fathers because they didn't understand what daddy was going through. But then when they found out what daddy was going through, it was too late because they were going through it too. And for the little girls, you've learned real quick that daddy ain't shit. Daddy can't do this, daddy can't do that, daddy can't do this, daddy can't do that. And daddy will never have the guts to tell you the truth. Society was stacked against me. I didn't have the balls, the money, the power to push. And a man would rather let his family down and fade away than to sit there and deteriorate in front of a son that would do the same. So for all you young men out there, I didn't have one till I was so old. But if I can help you, Make it to tomorrow. You take what I give you. And you pass it on.